Alright, just going to do another quick video further showing that orthodoxy, Eastern Orthodoxy, is not Biblical Christianity, and that it is just simply Roman Catholic paganism uh, repackaged. So, first I want to go through a couple of scriptures, because Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox, is in fact idolatry. Okay, Because idolatry by scriptural standards constitutes making an image and bowing down before it. Okay, uh, let me just grab my, uh, my Bible. Should have had that uh, probably beforehand, but basically to make sure I'm on the camera. Uh, basically, orthodoxy by scriptural standards is idolatry. I'm going to show you what constitutes idolatry. Again, like I said earlier, it constitutes uh, making an image and bowing down before it. I'm going to show you that from scripture. Joshua chapter 23, verses 6 to 7 says, uh, it's near the end of the book of Joshua. Joshua 23, verses 6 to 7. Uh, be ye therefore very courageous, and keep, and to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left, that ye come not among these nations, there that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause that to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them. So, we see that idolatry, uh, worshiping false gods constitutes one of the ways that constitutes it is bowing down before it. Okay, Exodus chapter 20, verses 4 to 5. Further, further proving my point, Exodus chapter 20, verses 4 to 5. Recently got this new webcam, so I'm just trying it out, seeing how, see how good it is. Exodus 20, verses 4 to 5. Uh, where is it? Still getting a hang of using the physical. A physical copy of my King James Bible. Exodus 20, verse 4 to 5. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, am, for I the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. See, idolatry also constitutes hating God, too. But you see, again, bowing down unto it. It's what idolatry is. Now, final scripture I'm going to go to. Uh, Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. I think it's the last chapter of the book of Leviticus, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Don't, I don't have the best memory, so just bear with me. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. Where is it at? Sorry, Levit Leviticus 27 is the last chapter, not 26. Leviticus 26, verse 1. You shall make you no, uh, no idols, nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. So, idolatry is, according to God's word, is bowing down to an image, setting up an image and bowing down to it. Now, do the Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox, and Roman Catholics do that? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to show a couple examples of the Eastern Orthodox, and uh, which are just again just Roman Catholic repackaged. That's all that it really is. Um, of the Eastern Orthodox bowing down to their graven images, who they claim, oh, we're just venerating these icons. Yeah, sure. The way they treat these icons, it is worshipped by scriptural standards. By every scriptural standard, it does constitute forms of uh, idolatry. Okay. So here's the first picture. You have. Uh, these Orthodox Christians bowing down before these pictures of various saints in a picture of Mary with all, all their fancy robes on too. You know, what are we reading the verses? Bowing down onto it. Well, that's what they're doing right here. They're setting up an image and bowing down to it. Here's the next picture. You have this uh, graven image of Jesus Christ, which by the way too, you read Acts 17, 29, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 15 uh, down to verse 25, and, and of course Exodus 20, verse 4 to 5, it's a sin to make images of the Godhead. It's a sin to make images of God. And yet we have these Orthodox Christians kissing it, this graven image of Jesus Christ right there, what they call a crucifix. And by the way, too, Jesus Christ is not on the cross anymore, so you might want to get him off there. He's risen. But of course, they don't believe that. Well, I mean, they, they, they deny that via their mass ritual. Here's the next picture of Orthodox Christians, again, bowing down before pictures of saints and, and you know, pictures of, of their goddess Mary. Again, what did we read in Leviticus 26, verse 1? Setting up an image of stone and bowing down to it. That's what they're doing right there. They're setting up an image and bowing down to it. And the final picture 
shows this uh, Orthodox Christian guy, uh, Christian, I say it very lightly, obviously, they, that's what they call themselves, Orthodox guy, kissing a picture of their goddess Mary. So again, they're making an image of stone, making an image, carving an image and bowing down to it. They are a pagan idolatry, just like the Roman Catholics. Ro uh, Orthodoxy, Eastern Orthodoxy, it's, it's just a bunch of pagan idolatry. It's not biblical Christianity, it is just Roman Catholic paganism repackaged, and of course Roman Catholicism is pagan Greco-Roman religion repackaged. That's all that it is. They're nothing just as, you know, I've heard it said, they're not, nothing but a bunch of baptized pagans. That's all they are. So don't be don't be deceived. Eastern Orthodoxy is not Christianity. It's just Roman Catholicism repackaged. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.